Oh. Put them over here. Forgot. Sorry about that. Off to the docks we go. Hopefully it's not too far. Although given that we're in the middle of a mountain region, I think it might be a bit farther than I imagine. Well, at least I've got you. Again, I can't imagine trying to do this on foot. Alright, let's do this. Hello, fox. Okay. Uh... Amber Creek Boar Vault. We're going and hungry. <laughs> I'm amused I still have that. Going toward Boar Vault. And from there... The docks. I think. Are you going to follow me the whole way? Uh, that looks interesting. Okay. New plan? Hold that thought, I want to go see who's here. We got a live one over here. Gotcha. Here will be the last mistake you ever make. Are you serious? I don't want to die. I have failed. I already pathetic that you're even trying. Look, if you want to call me pathetic, come down here and fight the old woman. Take this! Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I get that a lot. There you are! Ooh. You're a bit tougher than the other ones. You're going to try to kill me with that little thing? Call it little again when it cuts off your head. Oh. Well, I was, uh... Mostly joking. But apparently I can do that now. Sorry. Or... Sorry. Buddy else home? Doesn't look like it. Now the road is... Potentially safer for travelers. I think that's the way I just came. My horse is down there, it certainly is. I don't see my horse. It's fine. Ooh. Alright. So that must be. Borvald over there. And something there. I don't know what. And that must be the docks all the way over there. Alright. Long way to go. Thankfully I have a horse. That's probably going to be useful. Where did they get this? Trade, probably. Almost certainly. I did not mean to take your sword. I'm not going to carry it around. It's a nice craftsmanship. But a little heavy. I could probably use... Uh, I was about to say I could probably use those, but I don't really... I don't really want that one.
Hmm. And it's seems to be a problem. Where's my horse? There you are. You blend in. Hopefully we won't see too many more on the road. Don't hold much hope for that to be the case. But I'm taking my helmet off anyway because it's very nice to be able to breathe. I say that carrying around an orcish sword is too heavy, and <laughs> look at me. Carrying around Skior's old armor. I kind of feel bad taking it. But... <sighs> Ayala said I should have it. She didn't want to... Bother Yorlin making a set for me when Skior's would fit. Ayla's an interesting woman. Not yet sure what to make of her. She probably wonders where I am right now. Answer is lost in fog, apparently. Uh, right, that's not the way we're supposed to be going. The way we're supposed to be going is to the docks. I am starting to sound like Lopdeer once again. I always used to make fun of his accent. Oh. What happened here? Hello. Oh, there's someone still alive. Uh. Hello? Hey, you. Oh, there you are. Please help me. Are you okay? Thank the no, that's someone a stupid finally question. Came by. I've been out here for days. Gods. I was on my patrol when I heard screaming down the road. I rushed over only to find a caravan under assault by bandits. I tried to help, but there were too many. I'm afraid I was wounded during the fight. Took a hefty blow to the stomach. Ouch. The bandit must have thought he killed me because he moved on. After the fight ended, while they were looting the carts, I overheard them talking. The leader of the group was a dangerous marauder we've been trying to kill for months now called Jarek the Crusher. If you're off to find him, be careful. He and his gang are a dangerous bunch. They're holed up in Mammoth Keep, far to the northeast. Alright. If you have any potions you could spare, I'd be thankful. I'm afraid Jarek's hammer prevents magic from doing any good, so I'd need a tonic. Of course. Here, I have a potion for you. And uh, thank you for warning me about the hammer. This will get me started. Thanks. Now, please, leave me to bury the dead and pay my respects. Of course. Do you need any help with that? You are... You seem to be doing better. Right. I'll take the hint. I can help by going and crushing a skull or two, I suppose. Alright, it looks like we've got some work to do. Mammoth Keep, was it? Well, I suppose we'll see it when we get to it, if it's a keep. I should probably keep this on. Thankfully the rain here is warm. That's good. 
Well, I suppose it'll depend on which one I find first, the docks or the keep. And that would be Borvald, I believe. Borvald, docks, Mammoth Lake, which is where I assume Mammoth Keep is. So we'll do this first. Seems like there's bandits everywhere. Doesn't it? <laughs> Excuse me. This deer won't get out of my way. Or wouldn't. There's a keep. Not sure what's up there. Yalmer Armory. Good to know. I'm glad Falskar is a beautiful place. Not sure I could stand this much riding in Solstheim. Or in Skyrim for that matter. Eh, maybe I could. Skyrim's a big place. Seems Falskar is too. I'm sure that's the docks down there. Well, there's something down there for certain. Is warm, well, warm ish. Here's the docks and the oh, vendors. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. You stay, and I'll take care of these goons. You leave my horse alone. Come on. Are you serious? Good one. Sovngarde can wait. I'm out of. Nope, Sovngarde's not waiting for you. If you even get there from here. There we go. Anyone else? Doesn't appear to be. Alright, come on. I don't want to lose you out here. It's much colder on the coast. Not really surprised, but huh. Oh. Looks like the wind's blowing that way. Where are all the people that are supposed to be here? Not on the boats. There we go. Hi. Let me just get you all out of here. There. Do you need something? No. Do you? Is everyone okay? Hello. Hi. Looks like everyone's settled in. Not a lot of people here, but it's probably a good thing. Shipments coming in by the day. All right, you're the one who. How are you, friend? 
sister ship? Oi there, Nimes Wolf. I'm the captain of the ship Doctor. I wanted to thank you for helping out. Damned bandits snuck up on us. Now, I also wanted to offer to you the service of my boat. If you need to travel between Falskar and Skyrim, as long as I'm in port, I'll take you. Of course. However, it won't be free. I wish it could be, but travel simply costs too much these days. It'll be 500 gold a trip. Alright. I know it's a bit steep, but I'll shift my schedule for your convenience. Hopefully that's alright. It's the best I can offer. I mean, that seems fine. The trip takes less than a day. Just hop on the boat whenever you need to go and I'll get things in order. You can even have the top bunk. <laughs> if I can even get into the top bunk. Stay safe. Yeah, you too. Hey, I have a question. If you like music, go see work at the Inn in Ever Creek. I have, actually. And he is very good. Um... Where did those bandits come from? How can this place be so dangerous? Out in the middle of nowhere. The coast may look docile and beautiful, but it's just as deadly as the rest of Falskar. We don't have much lore from before our arrival, but what we do have refers to this place as the Dread Coast. Ah, of course. It used to shield the land from the Arctic winds, and was one of the most dangerous places on the entire island. The shoreline is littered with sunken reminders of the treachery that lies behind those calm waves. It's so bad that I'm the only one who still runs a boat to Skyrim, at least officially. Hmm. The shores also serve as an inlet for swarms of bandits and hired blades, ready to pillage the land and take all that we have left. But I'm probably just making it sound worse than it is. We get by. It isn't always easy, but we make do. You sound like you know my ex. Well, you take care then. I have to go talk to the other guy. See you around, Wolf. See ya. <laughs>